hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to manually charge a customer here in stripe let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in stripe i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow with the on-screen instructions and you're good to go a manually entered card payment is a transaction where a customer's card details are typed into and processed on the Stripe dashboard. Transaction fees for manually entered card payments are higher due to increased fraud rates associated with collecting card details by phone or unencrypted sources. Alternatives to manually entering card information include payment links, hosted invoices, third-party integration, and terminal. Now we're going to do a manually entered card payment. Once you are logged into your account, I want you to hover to the left side panel of your dashboard, depending on how you set up your Stripe account. There's going to be payments and there's going to be the payment links. As you can see, all we have to do is create a new payment link. All right. So these are going to be the uh, dashboard. Now, there's going to be a drop down menu on the uh, type you could of course customers choose what to pay for example a uh, best for tipping donations or pay what you want all right so because we are going to manually enter card payment all right this is going to be a transaction in which a customer's card details have been typed all right and processed in the uh, stripe dashboard you might want to go for the products or subscription which is good for e-commerce or software as a service so it depends on what kind of business are you are you dealing with all right now for now i'm going to choose the second one and from here maybe um let's say for this video okay i'm going to put in something like youtube tutorial production cost because as we all know we are a group of individuals one is responsible for the back end one is responsible for the creatives who uh makes amazing thumbnails for our youtube videos and one uh, the others are creating videos for you guys because we are here to help you solve your problems quickly now on the description of course you can put in the what customers are paying for but uh, in this case i'm going to be using this one all right so it's up to you you can upload an image if you wanted to you can be more creative there's a liberty for you doing that now for the currency that depends on your location or region or where you are based with you can choose a lot of currencies here there's a lot but you might want to check with strive if some of your currency is restricted all right but for now i'm gonna choose the default which is going to be us dollar you have the preview for the uh, desktop and the mobile all right so this is one of the uh, great features of manually entering a charge customer in stripe now there's two more options here it has like a suggest a preset amount if you wanted for example i'm going to put in like 69 dollars that's going to be uh, the uh, total bill of uh, the uh my client because of the videos that we are creating for him we can set limits if you wanted for example the minimum amount is like 69 dollars and like 69,000. let let's say um all right so how about that now there's going to be a drop down menu here for the advanced options of course you have like is it going to be pay as the call to action is it going to be book is it going to be donate that is of course if it's a sponsorship or donations we're going to use the pay option you can limit the number of payments if you want you can change the default message here i'm not gonna do do that you can add custom fields if you wanted for example some text set limits mark is optional you see the payment methods are uh, your credit card debit card klarna affirm and uh, cash all right so there's a lot that you can work with 
you can put in allow business customers to provide a tax ID, but there's that's gonna be a little bit um complicated because it will require a tax ID collection for customers in supported countries. All right. If you wanted to know more about the supported countries, you might want to click this button right here. You also have an option for collect tax automatically if you wanted. Now here this is going to be our category we are a digital uh, video streaming that's the closest uh, category of our service because we are into youtube creation you can also collect customers address if you wanted but be mindful because some of the uh, countries and locations or regions restricts getting the uh, billing and shipping address so i leave this into your discretion you may also want to require customers to provide a phone number all right and after doing that, all you have to do is make sure the information are correct. Now, all you gotta do, what's left, is to create a link. If you do that, we would be forwarded to the next section we're in. There's gonna be URL parameters, buy button. If you click that, all right, you can copy that code to your website, especially if you're working with um, Squarespace or WordPress. You have the URL parameters where in you can add URL parameters at the end of the payment link to pre-fill information or improve tracking and reconciliation. Now, this is going to be the URL, URL parameters and you can put in the email here. All right. That's going to be a little bit of technical. If you don't have an experience with that, that's okay. All right. that is going to be the uh, qr code if you're manually charging a customer in stripe you might want to opt in for the qr code if you want it all right now here it says this is one of the ways to activate payments by verifying your business and account so you can start charging your customers if you are like me who is in test mode you might want to click on the activate payments and you're going to be forwarded to this page wherein i have to complete all the details right now i am not comfortable i'm giving out my uh let's say financial information here in stripe because i'm just testing waters but if you do have you just have to um fill in all the information because this is what will uh give you a seamless transactions payouts and paying your customers all right since we are manually charging a customer in stripe otherwise after that that's going to be the uh, only way for you to manually charge a customer in stripe and of course another way for you to manually charge your customers is issuing refunds or adjustments all right for disputes for example you might want to create uh, partial refunds to issue a partial refund just a month adjust the amount of a previous charge manual charges and refunds can be more flexible than automated processes for disputes to resolve a dispute or customer complaint you may manually charge or refund based on agreed terms all right and of course you have if you're having problems manually charging a customer here in stripe i highly suggest you click on the help center here go to the uh, support center and there's going to be a customer support waiting for you by clicking the contact support option here type in your questions to see if you get an answer just wait for it to load it'll take a little bit of time otherwise if we don't get any answers click the contact sales send them an email or open a ticket and tell them you are having problems manually charging a customer here with stripe and they would give you insights and troubleshooting steps on how to fix them thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video